Kilo, hope you are well. My name is Frank and welcome back to my channel. It is a pleasure to have you here with me today. And speaking of Russian impersonations, I mean, over the past few hours in the news, you know, the Russia-Ukraine nonsense has really been blowing up. We spoke about it a little bit earlier this week. I didn't think it would get so crazy so soon. So I figured I would mention that, you know, ask, you know, what do you guys think of the situation? Personally, you know, it's an obvious false flag. They're going to put as much stuff in the news and media to get you to believe there's a real war going on. And then whether they move to like digital currency pushing or cyber attacks, I, I have a feeling it's going to be something like that. But let me know in the comments, guys. But today we're just going to do a quick cheat meal that I've been having, you know, over the past few weeks. And these are really about getting rid of the cravings and just kind of satisfying yourself being happy without going too overboard on something that's going to damage your health. And, you know, over the past two years, I've done a lot of research and looking into each of these different ingredients. And this is kind of what I'm picking from an ease perspective, especially, you know, I get home from work. I don't want to wait a long time to eat, spend two hours cooking the food. So in the oven, we have some organic French fries. These are the shoestring fries from Whole Foods. Not the best ingredient list, but compared to the other stuff there, even those potato chips that I was having, these are, these are slightly better from that perspective. Main part of the meal is going to be a roast beef sandwich where we have some roast beef from Frankie's Free Range Meat, some ciabatta bread from Whole Foods, which is not organic. One of the only non-organic things I've been eating for a while, but I really just like the flavor. And there's a concern about you know, what's in the wheat, the herbicides, pesticides, did they cook it with fluoride containing water, but you know, I haven't felt too bad eating this. What's also not that great is this organic oat milk butter I've been using. And because I can't tolerate dairy right now, this is what I've been using. And it's pretty bad, but I'm just putting a little bit on there and I tolerate it better than the regular dairy. And I really don't think I will be able to consume dairy until I can like get my own farm and do some type of special custom animal feed based on my understanding of nutrition. So this is going to have to do for now. But, you know, most of these plant-based substitutes, they're horrible for you and they taste bad. But for someone with liver damage, still better than regular dairy. And if you guys are wondering, you know, what I'm looking for at these ingredients, sunflower oil isn't that good. Out of all the vegetable seed oils, canola might be the least bad. Organic oat milk, eh, not too horrible. Coconut oil, not bad. And the other stuff, the additives here, not the end of the world. The main concern here is the vegetable seed oil. I would say cottonseed or safflower, uh, they're all pretty bad, but sunflower is not the end of the world. So here we have the rare roast beef on Frankie's true range meat. And this tends to oxidize because we don't use any preservatives in it. It's just salt and pepper. And you could smell how rare this is despite the meat being kind of gray right now. So we have our roast beef sandwich, French fries, but what makes the meal possible is the water kefir and water kefir grains. A very powerful probiotic. We have that on frankiesrangefoods.com and also masticum, a light antimicrobial available on organsupplements.com. And I'm telling you guys, if I wasn't using these probiotics, I really couldn't tolerate this meal that well. I'd have to have much cleaner foods, entirely organic, cook it differently. So this stuff has really helped me out, keep some variety in my diet and feel a lot better, alleviate some of the toxins that I am consuming in this meal. Obviously it would be amazing if you know, I can make my own ciabatta bread, make my own french fries, but it's just so time consuming. And the reason I have this bread instead of the bread alone is because this tastes a lot better for a sandwich. So yeah, the media is gonna try to paint this Russia-Ukraine nonsense to look as real as possible, but you know, Twitter is ridiculous. The last thing you would do if you were in a crisis in a major event like that is go on Twitter and tweet about it or film videos and post them to Twitter. It's so much fake nonsense, but you know, the majority of the populace is going to believe it. And then it's going to become very clear in a few days or a week or two why they are making these false flag events up. I mean, we made a video on the cyber attacks a few months ago like with the JBS meat plant and how they had to shut down the meat operation because their computers weren't working, which is completely ridiculous. A butcher shop does not need a computer to break down and process meat. So, you know, is this gonna be an excuse for the US to intervene and then Russia cyber attacks us 
and it causes more supply chain disruptions, excuse to increase gas prices. We don't know. That's a that's a possibility, certainly. And to be clear, there's no such thing as a cyber attack. It's just the CIA hitting a bunch of switches to scare Americans and manipulate them into their nonsense. As usual, guys, halfway through the meal, I'm going to take some water kefir grains. And about a tablespoon of masticum. Now, if I was eating cleaner foods, would all that be necessary? The kefir would certainly still help, but the masticum probably not needed. Point is, guys, don't watch the news. Ignore everything the media tells you. Assume it's a lie. And then try to determine what their next step is, just if it gives you any comfort. But it's just disgusting that it's getting crazier and crazier and crazier. And it's going to over the next 10 years because they're moving into this new world order nonsense. And it's really stupid because you can tell, like the media will try to make something stick. And as soon as the public just ignores it or they've had enough, they move on to something else. And they move on to something else until something sticks and then they go with that for a little while. I mean, that's really it, guys. You know, I'll get home from the warehouse and I'll be exhausted and I just want something that's really fast and easy and tastes good. And this is what I've been doing for the past few weeks. It's kind of helped me not lose any weight. But again, you know, I should really be baking my own bread. I should be making the fries myself. Hopefully, I could just move away from this and and go back to a little higher quality. But if you guys are craving like a deli sandwich and something easy, this is, it's okay. I don't feel horrible, I feel pretty good, I sleep okay, so. I will be having an apple in an hour or two, maybe shorter than that, just to get some fiber and have some gut motility because this meal does not have enough fiber. And uh, that should really be it. So thank you guys for joining me. You can go to frank if you want to support me through any of my businesses. Then we have the roast beef on Frankie Syringe Meat. Uh, we have the water kefir and kefir grains on Frankie Syringe Foods. And the masticum on organ supplements. Hopefully, eventually, we'll have the dairy, the eggs, the whole farm operation running, even bakery, who knows. And we'll have much higher quality food for myself as well as you guys. So, if you could please drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And be sure to check that bell icon so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks again, guys. And I'll see you for tomorrow.